In May 2011, we had a cultural survey across site, uh, which showed that we were pretty good as far as safety goes. And if we wanted to move up to the next level of, of safety on site, we were looking, at to looking towards doing um, something around the human element, which was the behavioural safety side of things. From the cultural survey, we had a group, an initial group that set up. They were all from below supervisor level. So we have plant operatives, um, storemen, weighbridge operatives, fitters, uh, myself, the plate welder, and then we moved that forward to a, a steering committee that then became the, the CATS Behavioural Safety Group, which is changing awareness towards safety. We went on to do some observer training, where we sit down and we understand a little bit more about what makes people behave the way they do, um, the consequences behind those behaviours, and how we can maybe try and, and, and change those behaviours by, by making people aware of what they're doing. The very last part of the observer training is actually going out on site, doing um, a live observation. We're looking for all sorts of behaviours, both safe and at risk, as it shows on the observation sheet. And we, will, we try to promote the safe behaviours and we make them aware of the at-risk behaviours. And in making people aware of those at-risk behaviours, we try and ask the question, is there something you could do differently next time? When we finish, with the, finish doing the observation, the sheet then goes into the data management side of the process. From that data management, we're able to look at the, uh, the facts and figures behind what's happening and where it's happening. The majority of those behaviours are, um, are addressed at the one-to-one the -one feedback, but there may be some other things that the environment are, are, are pushing, you know, whether it be a poor walking surface, you know, a, a set of steps in the wrong place, and that's where we can look at the problem-solving group to, to get together and try and work with the, the workforce to try and find a, uh, an opportunity to improve that to get rid of the at-risk behaviour. The key benefit to what we're doing is um, it, the, the feedback conversation actually changes people's behaviours. Um, we've, been, we've been back to do observations again where we know that the, the, the behaviours have changed, they've taken on board what we've seen and therefore hopefully that at-risk behaviour or the at-risk behaviours that, that we have the feedback about will no longer be there.